Hey guys, today I have a concept to show you which involves drying sponges off and item frames. Now you may have seen this in Mumbo Jumbo's most recent video, where he lists some features that he wished Minecraft had. In this final edition, he mentions how he wished wet sponges would turn back into their dry form in item frames instead of placing them into a furnace. I've made this in the vanilla game using command blocks, so after placing some dry sponges down in the water, let's harvest the wet ones and see how it's done. To dry off your sponge, place your wet sponge in any item frame. Immediately you'll start to see water particles, and the sponge starts rotating. It gets faster and faster until you hear a sound, and the wet sponge is converted to a dry sponge which you can harvest from the item frame at any time. This system is multiplayer friendly, and each item frame drying a sponge works independently from one another, meaning you can dry as many as you want at one time. If the drying process seems too short to you, you can easily extend the time so it takes longer to dry a sponge. Also, if you started drying a sponge and you wish to cancel it, you can simply hit the wet sponge out of the frame and it'll pop out with no problems. Let's run through a quick explanation of how this works. We have two scoreboards, first of which is called sponge. To the side, you can see the score is set to 1 for our item frame if there's a wet sponge placed inside the item frame, and another item and the score will be set to zero. Every tick, any wet sponge in an item frame will get one added to its score of the second objective called sponge life. This score is used to rotate the sponge and execute particles at it, and when it reaches 170 ticks, it is replaced with a dry sponge. If you'd like to try this for yourself and see all the commands to make it work, there's both a world download and MC edit schematic in the video description below. As always, feedback is appreciated in the comment section, and if you really loved it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time, everybody!